The French newspaper Liberation also raises serious allegations against Austria's EU commissioner, Johannes Hahn. Hahn is said to have allowed lobbyists to invite him on hunting trips and for expensive meals without reporting it, as is required. Hahn denies the allegations. Moreover, journalists reveal that some members of the European Commission, politicians of the European People's Party and judges of the European Court of Justice repeatedly abuse their positions to obtain financial benefits. The case shocked the French public. The most prominent European Union politicians were listed among the accused, including the President of the European Court of Justice. The text shows the existence of some deep state, the state of the European People's Party in the European Union. The state of the European People's Party has been draining the European Union for 20 years. Many people wonder if I have documents. Yes, I have documents to back up what I say. The scandal involves judges of the European Court of Justice, officials of the European Commission and politicians from the European People's Party who are unaccountable. One of the sources of demoralization of the European Union institution is that they are virtually accountable to no one and cannot be held to account. Carol Pinkston, former Belgian member of the European Court of Auditors, is accused of embezzling half a million euros for private trips to Cuba funded by European Union money. He explained the purpose of these trips as auditing the finances of the European Union. There is no doubt that the situation is quite serious. It involves high officers of the highest institutions of the European Union, such as the European Commission, the European Court of Justice or the European Court of Auditors. These bodies are existential for the European Union. It is astonishing that Donald Tusk has not yet addressed the matter. Donald Tusk's lack of response indicates that this is very serious. Criminal matter as described by Liberation. One of these people, Mr. Pinkston, already has his sentence for fraud. And I think more heads will roll from the European Court of Justice as well as from the European Commission. The actions of the ECJ are not subject to scrutiny by high instances. Next week, the European Parliament in Strasbourg will begin its sitting. The question is whether the allegations will be discussed.